Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing work on the castle project. And uh, I should probably mention that the mod pack has been updated by the time this video comes out to version 1.2. And there are some additional mods that have been added, uh, like for example, Et Futurum, which basically adds all the 1.8 stuff into 1710. We also have Simply Roads, which uh, adds pathways and all sorts of cool stuff. There's all sorts of goodies that have been added, so if you haven't already downloaded the pack to give it a try for yourself, I highly encourage you to do so. Let's go ahead and take a nap here so that we can get on with the episode. Now, we're back here at the castle, as I said, and basically what we're going to be doing in this episode is working on the walls a bit. And at first, oh, I'm doing the wrong one. I want detailed cobblestone bricks, not aligned. Detailed, detailed, oh, those are aligned. And there we go. Okay, we want the detailed. And the reason that I'm going with the detailed over the aligned bricks, even though I absolutely love the aligned bricks, is that the detailed ones look a little bit more worn down and rugged like they've kind of seen some age and all that kind of good stuff. So that's what we're going to go with. Now, I've got a builder's wand, which is going to make this whole process of building up the castle significantly faster than it would be otherwise. Look at this thing go. Nine blocks at a time, baby. Gotta love it. Oh, man. Absolutely love it. And we're going to build these up. Now... I am going to mix other material. Ooh, little lag spike there. I am going to mix some other materials in as we progress, as we get a little bit farther into the build. Uh, I'm also going to bring these down, I think, until they run into stuff. Like so. That one will go there. Got to bring these ones down as well. And that's just going to look better if we bring this stuff down rather than trying to bring the mountain up to it. I've built a couple castles here and there, and I always like the effect that you get when the castle seems to kind of grow out of the terrain. So that's what we're going with here. And we're going to do that on pretty much all of these little towers. Uh, that looks good. We'll have to do the same over here. Yeah, this is coming along nicely already. Builder's Wand, I'll tell you. Makes everything go so much faster. It's a, if there was like one... Oh, that was a mistake. If there was, like, one modded item, just one item that I could move into vanilla survival Minecraft, it might just be the Builder's Wand, because this thing is such a time saver. Look at that. We've already got a good chunk of the castle done, and we've only, we're not even five minutes into the episode yet. Love it. All right. So... I'm going to build this up. I don't know exactly how high I want this to go. Um, maybe we'll start two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll start at about a height of seven. Right about there. That seems like a fairly good height. Oh, come on, Angel Ring. Don't fail me now. Does that look about right? Maybe? I'm thinking that that might have to come up a little bit farther. Um, although this would be the level where the towers kind of start. So, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Because the towers then are going to come up. This would be like where the wall stops. And I do wish the walls on this castle are going to be kind of tricky because 
there's a certain scale that I want to achieve as far as size goes, but at the same time, how are we doing on bricks? We're doing all right. But at the same time, I also want to fit it within this space. So ideally, when making a castle, I would have much thicker walls than what I have here. But that's just not kind of how that's, that's just not how it worked out in this in this case. And it looks like I'm out of those bricks. So let's make some more. That shouldn't take long. Detailed, 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 and so on, and so forth. All right, let me get these castle walls built up to where I want them to be, guys. And I will be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So we got the walls built up fairly well. Now, by hand, I'm going to go ahead and take the towers up another level, like so just to kind of separate them from the wall. And as I said, guys, I know this is a lot of the same brick. I know that. Don't worry. I'm going to be mixing it up. I will be mixing in uh, other textures and things like that once we get to the detail phase of the build. For now, I just kind of want to get a structure in place so that I know what I kind of have to work with. And then we'll go from there. That's just kind of the way that I build. Different people have different styles. And you're supposed to be up here. There we go. So we're going to bring this up another level. Just the towers. The wall can stay right where it's at. And then we'll bring it up another level again using the Builder's Wand. Now the way the Builder's Wand works is it will, when you choose the face of a block, it will try to add a block to all other blocks of the same type within range and at the same uh, level of depth. So for example, if I would go here, you can see the silhouette of where it would place stuff. If I go here, it's going to place it along this face and so on and so forth. It's fairly easy to understand uh, once you get the hang of it. Now, here, uh, I know we're going to want a gate. So I'm going to put that in, and for now I'm just going to do that. And that'll be kind of our pseudo gate that's only going to be temporary. Now these, ooh, you know what, I think I'm actually going to build these up one more level. And the reason for that is that the walls are going to have parapets on them. And I don't want those to interfere. Oh, did I just... What did I do? Where did I place that? I think I just derped something up. Maybe not? No? Oh, right here. Haha. -ha. I found my mistake. Let's fix it. There we go. Okay. There. Much better. Place that. And place that. Okay. That looks pretty good. That is definitely the beginnings of a castle, no doubt. So, next step. Have I any chests? I don't believe so. I do, however, have a massive quantity. I thought I brought chests. Oh, I did. Here they are. I have diamond chests, which will hold huge quantities of materials. So let's put all of those in there. Let's put all this cobblestone in there. Take all of this out and put that back where it belongs as well. And then we'll have a chest for stone. And a chest for wood as well. There we go. Come on now. We'll just put all that stuff in there. And stone. And that way, we can keep it out of our inventory, at least for the most part. Okay. So, um, probably should get out a crafting 
table. I do not have a... How did I not bring a crafting table with me? Ugh. That's all right. We'll just make a new one. Okay. So, we're good there. I do know that I'm definitely going to need some carpenter's blocks. Because I want to have this detailed stone texture as stairs. So, we're going to need a bunch of sticks. And we'll just make a whole bunch of carpenter's blocks. There we go. And we'll just do this for the stairs. There. That should make a bunch. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab these again. And I think that will be enough. I don't think I'm going to actually need even this many stairs. Uh, it's getting night again. Let's go to sleep. I don't think I'm even going to need this many stairs. Because basically, these are just going to go along these edges. Like this. And I'm sure the stairs will get used at other points in the build. Don't get me wrong. We're almost definitely going to need more carpenter's blocks than what I just made. But, for now, I'm focused on this little portion of it. And we'll have these kind of facing out like so. There we go. And I spaced these walls out evenly so that this would happen. Although right here, it's not... Well, it is still even. Okay, cool. Even better. That makes me happy. Okay. So let's put those cobblestone textures on to the parapets like this. And that actually looks pretty good. How's it look from this side? Yeah, still looks like it fits. So this is good. This is perfect. There we go. Yeah, castle is coming along. All right, now, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. Um, do I want to do it at this level? That is the question. Because I know that I want carpenter's stairs coming like this. Uh, ooh, this is... These are tricky to place properly. There we go. Is that going to be... Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Like so. And we're just basically connecting these textures, connecting these carpenter's blocks. Uh, new. No. Come back, you. Oh, there's a missing one. I'll just do it by hand. There we go. So, there, like so. And we're just going to do this for all the towers. So, I'm going to get that done, and I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and we've got those towers all filled in. So, now, we're going to go to the next step. Oh, that was close. Thought I was going to crash for a second. Uh, and we're going to fill in some cobblestone. Now, I should talk about the crashes just a little bit. I haven't really had any of them. Uh, I've had those little lag specs, but I, I just updated the pack to 1.2 today. I just added those mods in. So this is my beta testing for 1.2, if you will. And you never know... When you first add new mods in, you never you never really know how they're going to work, if they're going to play nicely or not. So I'm half expecting crashes to come in, uh, which of course I can then fix and deal with. But don't worry about it too much. It hasn't been a problem so far anyway. Let's just finish filling in these. That looks fabulous. There we go. Looking good, man. 
Whew. I do love it. I do indeed. Now, we will have to bring this up a little bit higher. This is just kind of the base of the tower, as you can see. Uh, it is going to have to go up considerably higher than where it is right now. So, let's grab... Ooh, I'm going to run out of bricks. Hmm. That might be okay. Now, we're going to want to shift click the outside because there's carpenter's blocks underneath. Otherwise, it's going to place it as a texture. And we don't want that. We don't want it as like an additional panel on the side. It's a great feature for detail work. But right now, I just want... I don't, right now, I just want these to go right along here. There we go. We'll just get this all put in like so. That is looking good. And then we can bring those up with the builder's wand again in just a minute here as needed. And we won't have to shift click for the builder's wand because then we're back to having not carpenter's blocks underneath. So that'll make it a little bit easier. There we go. Like so. And finally, the final tower. Flying along, looking good. Man. This mod pack, I I have to I have to admit, this is like my baby. It really is. I am so proud of this mod pack and how it turned out. So many hours were put into it and it was worth every minute of it. Because the things that we can do in this pack, now that we're actually set up with, you know, pretty much automated resource generation, now that we're actually set up, I can just build I can just build and build and never worry about resources, never worry about anything. It's like it's I'm I'm basically in creative mode. I even have the angel ring that allows me to fly like I'm in creative mode. It's like survival, but if it was in creative and if creative had about 30 billion additional items in it that are not available in vanilla. I love it. This is a builder's dream right here, without a doubt. Okay, there we go. And let's just build these up one more. There we go. That looks pretty good. So you've got kind of the basic tower shape going there. How's that look from down here? From over here? Castle on the hill? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing, my friends. That is a beautiful thing. Glorious. Let's take a nap. And then... We need to figure out the next step for the towers. Do I want to bring them out again? I don't really have any room to bring them out again over here. So maybe our best bet is going to be to go back kind of to this and do kind of something like this on them. You know what I mean? Something along those lines. And then we can apply the textures like so. How's that look? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think they could use a little something. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put like half slabs here. How would that look? Ooh, I don't, I don't really have a lot of carpenter's blocks left. I mean, I'm pretty good with that. It definitely needs some detail work and some intricate kind of stuff. 
to be added to it. You know, you could maybe do uh, like here. You know, we could maybe work in another layer of whatever. You know, kind of like that, just to give it some additional depth or something. I don't, nah, I don't really care for that, actually. But, I mean, it definitely needs some detail work, without a doubt. It's very flat here right now, and that's not good. Um, one way we could maybe work in some depth would be to take Carpenter's block or carpenter's stairs, I should say, and go like that, and then apply this texture, because that would give us a little bit of additional depth right in here. That might be an option, something along those lines. I mean, it's coming along. It's coming along. Ooh, eh, whatever. There we go. It's not looking too bad, though. I've certainly seen worse. I'll have to think of some ideas. We might rework this tower a little. We might rework the tower design a little bit. I haven't really decided yet. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.